Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, it is Friday morning, and we decided not to go to sales this morning. Lonnie's still under the weather, so we just decided to take it easy and list. We have plenty of stuff we can list, so um, we're going to do that. Yeah. Candace has a trip this weekend, Girl Scout uh, camping trip this weekend. So. Yeah, we're going camping, leaving out this afternoon, so I have some stuff to get. I'm going to be leaving early out of here, and I have some things I need to tie up. But um, I think Lon you're not going to go out to sales tomorrow either, are you? I'm not sure. Probably not. Yeah. I think I'm just going to wait till Sunday and go then to estate sales, and then mm -hmm. I'll call that good enough. Yeah. So I am feeling a little better. I had a good night's sleep last night. Candace got me some NyQuil. We had some good sales yesterday. Uh, yesterday afternoon, it was kind of slow, and then um, Lonnie and I went to the eye doctor, and while we were there, man, it was like every few minutes something sold. Like, like literally within an like two hours, we probably sold like eight things. Yeah, like, and they weren't like they weren't all like ten dollars sales either. No. So. I know, like Lonnie, maybe we should just stay here the rest of the day. I know. I didn't want to leave the eye doctor while we were at the eye doctor. <laughs> Man, although I did, I hate, like, I don't mind the eye doctor, but, uh, oh, that's yours. I'm sorry, I grabbed your coffee. But we, we both got our eyes dilated, and that's kind of a pain. Yeah, I came back, and I, I, I wasn't thinking. I came to take pictures of the light box. I turned the light box it on. It was like, boom. And I was like, ah, I'm blinded. <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah. I could barely see the words on my screen, my computer screen. So. Yeah. But well, you ready to pull some orders? I am. All right, first order, we have two cookbooks on Three Charlie, Louisiana Legacy, and Louisiana Entertains. Okay. I see Louisiana Entertains. Oh, they're right by each other on the shelf, too. They're shelf buddies, Candace. Because they're alphabetical order. Yeah, because they're alphabetical order buddies. Yeah. And so now they're, they're, still, they're going to stay they're together. They're on the shelf together. They get to go in a box together. Right. Look at that. Um, the total of those together was forty dollars and ninety-eight cents. Well, that's a good, that's a good sale there. Yeah. This uh, this cover is kind of cool. I like that. I know. Like the pelican is our state bird. Is that a pelican? It really looks like a crane, though. I huh? think that's an egret. But, but, yeah. Egret, that's an egret. Which is a crane, right? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Yeah. It says ones that that sit on cowbacks. Snake, snake eaters. No, well, yeah, they do that too. I actually saw one of the things, one of those egrets. I, I was out there early in the morning or late at night. I can't remember. No, it was early in the morning out in our yard. And there's a freaking egret out there, which they, that doesn't happen too often. No, they like they like wet areas. It's it had just been raining. It had been yeah, raining a bunch. We had a bunch of water in our yard. And I'm watching this egret. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Look at the egret. That's neat. Next thing I know, egret dips his head down, grabs a, like a two foot long snake out of our yard. A two foot long snake and then like starts kind of struggling with it. He ends up swallowing the snake whole. I've never seen anything like that. That's crazy. Uh, Google and watch a video of an uh, egret eating a snake. I saw it. It's it's insane. It looks like it should kill the egret. I know. It looks like it should choke on it. Yeah. It's really crazy. Yeah. So some of those like some of the stereotypes about Louisiana, they're kind of true because like I bet if you go up to like I bet if you go up to like Minnesota, you're not going to find an egret in your yard eating a two foot long snake. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, but yeah. They also, don't they also like hang out with cows and like eat bugs off their backs and stuff like that? I don't think that's egrets. That's not that's egrets? Something else. Some other kind of bird? Yeah. Okay. All right. Enough Louisiana ecology or biology or whatever. All right. Two Bravo. We have a Louisville Slugger mitt. Baseball mitt. Yeah. It's a, um, it's actually one that I bought this past weekend. And I need to list the rest of them too. This is one of the ones, I bought 10 gloves for $30. Yeah. This is one of the found, found in the park models here. What did we get for this? Uh, 27. So, I mean, we're almost got all of our money back from the other ones. Right. There's another glove I have that even in the poor, kind of poor condition it's in, it's worth probably about 40 to $50. If it was a better condition, It'd be worth eighty dollars or so. It's a Demarini glove. Some of y'all might have noticed it in that last video. Yeah. But anyway, that's a good way to start off the sales for those. All right, we sold some more cello flatware. 
we sold four teaspoons. Now, um, Lonnie was kind of confused because these look different than the teaspoons we sold yesterday. So, um, iced teaspoons are going to be the long skinny spoon. For an iced tea glass. Yeah, so. for a tall iced tea glass. These are like for a teaspoon. Like, like for, a teacup. Like tea okay. Um, what, what, no, what's the location? Five Echo number five. We need four of them. Five Echo five and we need four. This is good stuff. So I think we're almost. I'm gonna find them. Maybe this is it. No? We don't have them. Hang on, I guess I gotta bring them over here. Alright, five Echo five, right? That's four. I mislabeled on there. That's soup spoons. I must have put the wrong. Let me go look in the other location. Kids, I went to the wrong place. Oh. I went to the wrong place. That's my fault. Oh, I, no, I was looking like I went. I, I didn't realize we had them two locations. I was All right. Looking without bucket and it wasn't there. <laughs> All right. I'm showing y'all. I'm gonna keep this in. Showing y'all me screwing up. <laughs> All right. Let me put this back. I was getting worried though. This is five C5. Over. Okay. All right. I just the the reason I went there, I didn't listen to what you were saying. I just went to the place where I got the spoons the other day. Okay. Yep, so they bought four of them. Four. Oh, yeah. And how much did we sell these for? Um, fifty nine dollars and ninety six cents. Wait, this is a sixty dollars sale? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, so we're in the profit now. Yeah. We're, we're already in the money on this stuff. Yeah, because we've sold dinner knives and iced teaspoons and now teaspoons. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. So that's $60 plus shipping on top for those. Yep. All right, nine Charlie Raisin Cane's Purple Visor. Yeah, when I mean, Candace listed that, I, would, I don't know if I told her or not. There it is right here. One love. Oh, uh, we were looking the other day. Post Malone has his own Raising Cane's location. Yeah, now. he decorated it like he, he had creative... Um, license or whatever? No, creative... Freedom. Freedom to, de to pick up. Creative out. licenses means the same thing, I think. Okay, well, yeah, he got to choose like... Because Cane's, Cane's uses a lot of grays and reds and stuff yep. in their restaurants. And this one is like bright pink with like cow spots and, and, or something and he's it. even got his own menu item which yeah, is really just the same deal, yeah. because i know like we can when we go candace will say um no slaw extra sauce no slaw extra sauce but i think post malone gets an extra texas toast and, and an extra sauce yeah and that's, that's that's the post malone way that's the posty way or whatever yeah. <laughs> so Anyways, I didn't. I was I was shocked that this actually sold. I thought you were a little crazy when you listed this for twenty five dollars. Now the special raisin canes, besides just the regular, you know, like red hats or whatever color they wear. Like we sold a camouflage cap, remember, for like twenty five thirty bucks. Mm, yeah. And um, this is like the LSU color. So. Yep. Oh yeah, Post Malone. He um he he had that restaurant open like five minutes from his house, so he could eat right. Canes it's basically like he's acting like it's a business, but really it's just when he gets hungry late at night, he can just go over there, yeah. <laughs> go grab some chicken fingers. What and they don't like? I'm sure he walks in. They don't. What do you want? Yeah. Uh, duh! I want the freaking posty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we sold some vinyl Malcolm McLaren bands. Okay, let me see if I can find it. I do have a bunch of vinyl I need to I need to go get well I mean I say I need to go get it from storage but I don't but I do have a bunch more vinyl to list I, I probably should though because that vinyl is fairly quick selling we haven't been selling a ton lately but that's because we've already sold most of it so yeah that's over nine dollars okay all right, we have we sold some razors. Um, Razor blades this time. Yeah, CC Eleven Ohio. Okay, CC Eleven. 
This is it right here, Ohio. That's all for 34. It's a razor blade display. Man, the razors, I knew they were gonna be good. Has that shaving stuff been a little better than you thought it would be? Yeah. Me too. At first, at, at first I wasn't like at the the good razors. I'm like, oh, these are okay, ten, fifteen a piece. Right. But then it, it was good to find some gems in there. All you gotta do is if, if you find like ten, yeah, right, <laughs> gem gem razors, gem uh, yeah, razors. But all you gotta do is find ten really good razors, and like it changes the whole, yep. the whole deal. Yep. All right. Um, we have a marble card. Mm -hmm. U six one on one delta. Oh, don't forget, we have a Macari order today. Yep. 61. Okay, that's one of these clear cards. Yeah. Suspended, suspended animation. Yep. Number one. Number one gambit. Yeah, that's him. That's oh. right. Huh? Is that him? Oh, Gambit's a girl? Yeah. Okay. $3, I think. $3.60. I don't, that's a dude, Candace. Oh, maybe I'm, I'm thinking a Jubilee, maybe. I don't know, but that's a guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what do I know? What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a, oh, I like this. What um, do you like? P10 Vintage Delta, Delta Airlines Travel Poster. Oh, yeah. This, this is one's an cool. original, not a repop. Yeah, this is old. Man, this is the last one, huh? Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think that's the last Delta poster we had. That that buy is closed out. That was one of the best buys we've ever made. One yeah. of them. Yeah, it's cool. It looks like a watercolor. Yeah. Like no, no. All those were were really cool. Yeah. Let me um. You remember? You remember we bought that? Like I, we bought this poster and a bunch of other posters, and then this huge, huge. It's a Delta, right? It was a yeah, Delta. I think is so. a big plastic. Delta sign. It hung up on a wall in the airport. Right. With like their um what we sell that for? Like two. It, it showed all their destinations. Let me go let me it look it like up real global, quick. Yeah. Let me look it up. Okay, I was just going through. These are all the solds from that poster by 40, 23 something, 20, 50, 70, 100, 30, 40. These are all from the same buy. 20 120 for these two and then he, here is well, i can't even click on it now okay what if you clicked here let me see it's gonna have data on there i bet we can go to therapy can get a bigger image it's fine yeah. it's i mean but look you can kind of see it here uh it's this big like it did roll huh okay Loosely. so you can see the wall behind i don't know if y'all we'll put it on we'll find an image upon the screen you can see the wall like it goes the whole span of the bench plus some. Well, 70 by 47. Yeah. But yeah, we sold just that for $200 and then we sold all the rest. So anyways, um, this is the last part of that buy. That's the last travel poster we had. Oh, Candace said I didn't say what we paid for it. We paid $20 for all of that. Everything. Yeah, that, that one there sold for 35. Okay. Uh, we have another mercury visor in hat box B. Man, we don't sell visors very often and we sold two yesterday. I know these mercury visors have sold well. Uh, in fact, we should be, we have, that's the last one. That's yeah. the last one? Yeah. Okay. We actually got that from a pro fisherman guy. Yeah, what we, we started out with. He, got, he had all kind of, here, put these in here. Uh, these are still. Oh, sorry. He had, he had all kind of swag you would get from different manufacturers and then he sold it in his garage sale i think he was retired at that point that sold for 17. eight delta a green uh old-fashioned desk telephone or wall delta. hmm oh here it is I couldn't see it because it was a, is it called a trim line or slim line or something? Trim line, yeah. Trim line. Yeah. That's all for 20. Okay. Then on one alpha, you sold your Foxfire books. Yeah. That was a good buy there. 
so what did we man i'm trying to remember now oh yeah we, i think this is three dollars because it was uh at that sale four for a dollar no it was 50 cents 50, yeah two for a dollar it was 50 cents um paperback. per paperback yeah and these qualified as paperbacks because they are but they're kind of, these are like, you know how some paperbacks are paperbacks, but some they're, are more substantial. They're a little better than, you know what I mean? They have the thicker right. uh, covers. But yeah, they sold them to us for uh, all these for $3. And what we get? 80. Yep. Pretty good. We got one more larger sale uh, that's going UPS, but I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff well, packed. Well, we have a Mercari sale on Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and get that. Well, we, it's Frankie Stein, and I was, I'm was working on getting her ready. For oh, you're going to cut her out and wrap her up, this huh? This little girl right here. Okay. And she sold for 15 on Mercari. Okay. Okay, got all that stuff out. Um, we also ordered, we were short on a lot of supplies. Yeah. Been needing those for a while. Those are 12, 10, fours. They're kind of pricey though. They're like 80 something cents a piece, but they're very handy. And then we also needed some tape. As a matter of fact, I just loaded up my last roll of this tape. Um, I have some eBay tape and, and some other tapes I got from Kevin and Danielle as some backup, but yeah, I, have, I'm, I was out of that tape, so it's perfect. So I got 36 rolls of two inch and I finally uh, got some more of the three inch tape. I got a whole box of it there. Because uh, let me tell y'all, after trying that, I got that for Christmas, right? Yeah, and you've packed some big things lately and you've been like, oh, I wish I had the three inch yeah. tape. Yeah, it's like after trying, like if you never knew about three inch tape, then you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know what you were missing. But once you have three inch tape and you do big packages, really it's good whenever you have like you know how when you have tight like right yeah like, like when, whenever you resize sometimes he gets me to like really hold it tight right while he tapes so that three inch really holds it good it does it does so w once you've once you've tried it it's hard to go back so um i'm glad I, i'm gonna keep that in stock from now on that's gonna yeah. be a must-have so if, actually if you didn't order some you were getting some for father's day so there you go you get to get something else well i would have i probably should have just waited then <laughs> <laughs> we've got two more orders that are uh that we need to pull we didn't pull one of the usps orders yeah i just completely spaced and i don't know what happened you you, you do that like a couple times a week it's like i don't even remember seeing it when i was looking it was through. right there so we, is it was it next to the ups i don't know hmm. all right so um it's a bob ross toaster yeah it's it on one the, foxtrot. It does the uh, fro on, on the toast. No, it puts his whole face. His whole, right. His face, his whole and the fro, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's tucked down in there. Here we go. You can make some, uh, some cr cr toast. crunchy little happy toast. Yeah. That's all for 25 Okay. And then the UPS item going out is a Mr. Christmas carousel. It's on 2 Alpha. Yeah, it's up here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to... It's going to It's gonna change everything here. It's like a... If I take that out, it... Like three things fall. So I'm going to have to turn the camera off. But yeah, that was one of your... That was from that buy you made, huh? Yeah, that big Mr. Christmas buy. Like really... That buy was not as good as you were hoping because of the condition and stuff. But man, we we did make money on it though. Oh, yeah. We made really good like money. Like this on one it. here sold for uh 160. Right. So you, what'd you pay? Two two something? Three hundred? I think it was three hundred for everything. Three hundred for everything. Yeah. And then we had quite a few pieces. So. Yeah. All right, let me go grab that. I don't I'm gonna do that off of camera. All right, Candace just told me we just sold, also just sold a $35 razor. So yeah, we're going to pull it that too. Yeah, it just came in. So since he's still packing, we're going to go ahead and pull it. It's yeah. um, R7. R7. Candace, you got to get some more razors up. Look at this. I know. They're flying off the door. Flying, flying out, out the out drawers. Of door. Flying out of our drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thirty-five dollars for that, huh? Man, this one looks perfect. That one literally is a gem. No, I don't think it's been used. It's a gem G bar. Look at that. The, it has a unique end shape. That's the old type too. And it's like a travel size. See that? It's short, but yeah, look how you, that has like aerodynamic shape. Yeah, it's uh, a cool one, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah. Man, this shaving stuff is going way better than I thought. Yeah. All right, I got the Mr. Christmas thing packed, and it wasn't the thing I was pointing at earlier. I thought it, I just assumed it was that. It was actually over here on two alpha and uh yeah i got that pack that is going to ups that's our loan ups order but i don't mind going to ups for 160 dollars order i'll do that every day <laughs> i am trying to clear the decks for some reason i don't know why keep why going. am i every time you pack something we sell something so i know keep going i will i'll keep on we pulling sold a dracula i just listed like an hour ago yeah right on oh you list oh you put one on ebay and one on mercari huh uh, I don't. I don't even know which one is which. Should be F. F is the one. I'll double check me. I'll double check. Double check you. Uh. Guess what? What? Whenever you listed this. Huh? You know what the title was? What? You gotta watch it sometimes. I did check it. It just says doll. No, I I checked it because well, I had copied and pasted. <sighs> look. Oh my god. It just says doll. You gotta watch it sometimes. It sometimes the Mercari does that. Yeah, so we go in and do um relist whenever we sell something because um and yeah, sometimes it does tell that to the title, but I did check it. That's what's weird. Because mm -hmm. I had copied the title ready for it. Mm hmm Nobody yeah. believes you. In the past it said just monster high doll. We we sold a thirty dollar Dracula with the title doll now thankfully in my description it says you were buying this doll dracula it might it, they might it must have picked up the search from that yeah. and it does have the brand is monster high so. it's like that drives me crazy i know I, I promise you i did check okay okay well you're not in trouble i know i'm not in trouble <laughs> i'm amazed that we can sell on mercari a doll that just says doll I know. and we struggle on ebay yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am working on this telephone that I bought over the weekend. I bought this for $10 in an estate sale. This is an old one. I act, but I actually found this same exact model of phone uh, that sold for like $51, I think, about a month ago. So I'm going to go for $50. i am still cleaning it up. I need to get back behind, get on this dial a little bit with a Q-tip, clean it up best I can anyway. And uh, Candace is working on something kind of cool that we got from Beverly. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember, um, one of the buys at Beverly, there was like a white box with these steak knives in them. They're really heavy duty. They're like full tang, which means the blade goes all the way through. That helps keep your braid, blade from breaking off, you know. Um, so they have this symbol on them here. F. Yeah. And I couldn't place it. I didn't know. I, you know, I kind of did a Google search. It's kind of hard on little symbols like that. So I went in to resell a water cooler and put a, um, our Facebook group and put a picture. And um, pretty much somebody came back almost within an hour and said those are from Fleming's Steakhouse. And we, we do have a Fleming's in Baton Rouge. We do. We do. So probably somebody either bought them there well let's just go with that well we have 15 of them i can't imagine somebody stealing 15 steak knives why not what one at, one one at a time, time. Yeah. there I, I did see a sold or no there's an active where somebody has four like in a nice presentation right. box a corporate gift now they're trying to get like over 200 dollars for them um so it is something that can be bought you know yeah and these like the handles the wood is starting to kind of dry out they were a lot worse than this i did give them an oil treatment they could probably use another and then there are like uh, minor scratches yeah. all over the blade it's not like gouges it's just scratches from use so um i'm wondering if maybe they just re periodically replace their knives and sell these to the public or whatever you they're, know? they're so heavy they're nice they're nice they're really they feel good in the hand we're keeping a few ourselves yeah because i have a weird uh number i have 15 knives and for some reason the first time i counted i thought i had 17 so we were going to keep five you know and then do three sets of four then i'm like okay i only have 15 so i'm gonna do three sets of four still and we'll just keep three it'll be one for me, one for Lonnie, and one for Molly. Molly, I guess, or Sarah, <laughs> or, or, Sarah. or whatever. Yeah. 
whatever for whoever the most important people around at the time whoever bought us the steak <laughs> <laughs> get to my yeah no, these are really these yeah, are really they're nice cool. yeah so um, I, I couldn't find any good comps for this but so I didn't find any Fleming's comps so I just searched like steakhouse knives like restaurant steakhouse mm -hmm. knives and that's how I kind of figured out my price okay well, so. we'll if we get it that'd be awesome because that'd be 120 dollars yeah, yeah. Ten dollars a knife, basically. Yeah, yeah. All right, I've got a few, a little bit longer. I'm gonna list for, but Candace is about to head out to yep. Girl Scout camp, mm -hmm. Camp Marydale. Yep. And she came in here, and I was about to list this hat, and I saw her eyeball in it. Yeah, isn't that so me? It really cat. is not. The only thing I like about it is this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that stuff is that Five Nights at Freddy's is terrifying. That was so weird, huh? It really is. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.